Hello everyone and welcome back to Wipe Knowledge. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create multiple VLAN and Grand Stream router and switch and map them to the particular ports. So I am into the router and creating VLAN in LAN option. So I am setting VLAN ID and VLAN name. So first I am creating VLAN 10 and setting the destination only internet as when and saving similarly i'll assign vlan interface ip address on this vlan so i'm entering the ip address of 10 series then after i'll enable dscp services for this vlan interface and now giving the start IP address range and end IP address range then entering the DNS and saving similarly creating one more VLAN with ID 20 and naming it VLAN 20 so we have multiple options but I'll select only default VLAN and WAN network so that I can differentiate and show you. So VLAN 20 can only reach to the default LAN and WAN. Now I am giving VLAN interface IP address on this VLAN. So I am giving 20 series IP address on this VLAN and enabling DSCP services for this VLAN and giving start IP address range and end IP address range and then entering the DNS then saving the detail so we have now created two VLANs VLAN 10 and 20 and in VLAN 10 we have set the destination towards WAN only and VLAN 20 we have set the destination towards default VLAN and WAN now we will create same VLAN and switch and map them to the ports. So in the VLAN option, I'm adding VLAN. So I'm adding two VLANs. So 10 and 20 and clicking OK. So two VLANs are created now VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. And in the VLAN 10, so you can see port number 7 is connected to the router so it's a uplink port so we will set this port as tag and 1 and 2 set as untag so it will pass VLAN 10 on 1 and 2 and in the VLAN 20 setting same 7 port as tag and 3 and 4 as untag port so these port will pass VLAN 20 IP address so we have set tag port and untag port on the particular VLANs now we go into the port settings by default the link type is strung on each port so we are editing both the ports and setting as access and PVID 10. Similarly, port number 3 and 4 and setting as access port and PVID 20. Now we set port and VLAN. Now we connect laptop on first and second port to check the VLAN 10 so as we set in VLAN 10 we get the IP address of 10 series and we will have only access of internet no other network we can reach so now I have connected system on first port and if I refresh 
I cannot access switch since we have not set destination towards default VLAN. And similarly, we can check the internet as we have set the destination towards WAN. So we are able to access the internet, but we are not able to access default LAN network. That means we cannot access switch and router. Now I will check my system IP address. So you can see my system is getting VLAN 10 IP address. And now I'm connecting my system on port number 3 to get the IP address of VLAN 20. So now system is connected and get the IP address. And if I check, you can see that system has taken the IP address of VLAN 20. Now we can have the access of default VLAN that means switch and router. Along with that, we can have the access of internet. So you can see port number three is connected with PC and we can have the access of internet and default VLAN. And we can have the access of router. So we can check. So the VLAN 10 has destination towards WAN and VLAN 20 has destination towards WAN and LAN. So this is the configuration how to set VLAN and create and assign them to the particular ports. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel and share this video to your friends. Thank you.